What's up guys, Husto7 here, and today I'm going to be showing off the Call of Duty Elite Xbox 360 application. Uh, I'll have a video up showing off the uh, web application, but it's still experiencing a lot of problems, and while I'm waiting on the service to get up and running, um, just stay tuned for that video. So you can download the Call of Duty Elite application directly from in-game in Modern Warfare 3 from the Xbox Live main menu. And this is what the service looks like after you log in. The first page it will take you to is your Elite Summary. You can see up in the top right corner that it does show my Elite Premium as well as my Founder Status. This is where news and messages of the day will be posted from the Call of Duty Elite website. Here's the news details of the day, explaining a little more about the service. Here you can check your feed, which is the same feed that does appear on the web application as well. And you can even use the Xbox keyboard to post a comment. As well as check your incoming notifications, uh, when friends add you to leaderboard tracker or people join your clans, etc. So you notice the tabs along the top. We'll be scrolling through to career summary. Again, similar to what you have on the web application, this shows your rank, hours played, KD, win percent, all of this, and you do have the ability to use the in-game level calculator. So again, just like on the website, if you've seen the other video, you can set my rank. I'll go ahead and set prestige 10 max rank. It asks you how many hours a day you play. I'll go ahead and put approximately two and say that I have 10 hours of double XP waiting for me. After you choose calculate, it'll give you an approximate time it will take to reach that in-game rank. Now we're going to go ahead and scroll over to recent matches. So you can see that the last match I played was Kill Confirmed. It was a victory, it shows how much XP I had, my nemesis, victims, best weapon, kills, score, deaths, in unique to the game mode Kill Confirmed is my number of confirmed kills as well as my denied kills. If you look along the top it says the t date and time of the game and I can scroll through these to look at more past games. Now on the custom classes tab, you're able to see each of my custom classes. You notice I have six classes as I did unlock one from the prestige shop. This shows you your weapon ranks, perk setup, pro perk. Now you may notice that there does appear to be a bug with the strike packages. Some of my icons are not loading in. Um, I imagine that'll be fixed shortly. The leaderboard tracker is where you add the rivals. This will allow you to compare where you rank along with some of the rivals that you've added, each represented by a different color bar on the chart. Each of these are sorted by various game mode. This shows you the players that you're tracking on your leaderboard tracker. In addition to being sorted by game mode, they are also sorted by all-time, weekly, and monthly. Selecting a game mode will see where you compare in terms of score, kills, deaths, and KD to your rivals on the leaderboard tracker. Now, the next tab is the global leaderboards. This will show you your rank and where you compare to all players in the world. Again, sorted by all-time, weekly, as well as monthly options. You can also navigate to a player and compare their, your statistics versus theirs, showing off ratio, kills, deaths, accuracy, score, and wins. The next tab is weapon performance. Here you can see some statistics about the weapons that you use. You can start by tracking weapons by KD to see which weapons you perform the best with. In this case, excluding the AA-12 since I only have three kills, 
The best weapon that I use is the CM901. This can be helpful so as you can identify what weapons to build your class setup. In addition, you can look at your equipment, secondary weapons, and even attachment usage. If you notice by pressing Y, you can toggle the sort order, allowing you to view various information. This is helpful on your primary weapons to see how your kills and accuracy and headshots all relate. Sometimes a weapon with lower KD but more headshots may be more valuable when you're leveling. Now the next tab is Connect. The first option is Groups. You also have unlocked two featured groups, which you are able to join directly from in-game. You can search for viewed groups. You can locate specific players directly from your friends list or players that you've tracked on your leaderboard. You can also view your created or join a clan from the clan data. The next tab we'll go over is Compete. If you guys are familiar with the events located on the web application, you can log in and compete in various events for team-based as well as lone wolf operations. Now again, since the servers have been having some problems, I'm not sure why any data is not displaying here. I imagine they'll be posted soon. Under the showcase, you can see badges that you've won for various competitions you've competed in before. Here you can see I won a gold medal on Vengeful Beast. Now on the Improve tab, you're able to view all of the various maps. You can enlarge the map. Then by pushing right and left bumper, you can change the game mode to get information about spawn points and objectives. By using the sticks, you can zoom in and get an overhead view of the map. You can use this to plan effective routes and notice choke points where you may be dying a lot. This partnered with the heat map on the website can really help you to plan out routes to navigate the maps. The next tab is weapons. Here you can get information about all of the weapons, the stats, as well as the unlockable progressions. It'll tell you what each one of the levels, the various attachments, camos, and scopes are all unlocked at. You can even look at tips for how to use the weapon effectively. You can do this for all of the weapons in the game, including special weapons and launchers. And the next tab is the equipment usage. Again, you can really only review all of the different equipments and what they do. What's really helpful is on the perk tab. You notice that in-game, perks are listed as classified until the pro version is unlocked. However, using the Call of Duty Elite Service, you can view the regular version of the perk as well as the pro version of the perk, regardless of whether or not it is an unlocked in-game. This means you're able to scroll through all of your perks and get some inside information as to what the classified perks do. The next tab is the strike packages. The Strike Packages tab shows you the Assault as well as Support and all of the various unlocks in here. I do wish that it showed the kill streak required in order to pick these items up, and I hope that that's a feature that may be implemented in a later release of the Call of Duty Elite service. The next tab is Death Streaks. And Death Streaks is helpful as sometimes the descriptions in game can be confusing. For example, I was still unsure what Dead Man's Hand Death Streak did. But here you can see it gives a more 
expansive description of what exactly this death streak does. The final tab is game modes. Here you can get an overview about the game modes as well as some tips on how to play each of these various game modes. This can be helpful if you have a certain playstyle and like to play games very offensively. You can look for game modes that gear better towards offensive players as opposed to support or defensive players, like Free For All. The final tab is Elite TV. I was a little disappointed that you weren't actually able to view some of these online. However, they do show you some exclusive uh, footage that you can get on the web application. So that's about all for the Call of Duty Elite Xbox web application. But now I'm going to go ahead and take a minute and show you some unlockables you get in-game for your call sign if you do have the Elite Premium version. In-game, if you go to call sign, you'll notice that you'll have two new emblems and two new titles. One is exclusive to Elite Premium, and the other is exclusive to Elite Premium Founder Status. And you'll find those under your call sign. That's all. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, favorite, and subscribe.